Okay, I'll die first things first. Is that too dark? Should be fine. <laughs> okay, guys, so first things first, I'm going to prime my eyelids using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just applying that over with a brush to neutralize the lid and create a nice tacky base for the eyeshadows to stick to. So next we're going to take a transition color to apply through the crease. So I'm going to take this kind of tan brown shade from my Morphe 350 palette. You guys can take any shade that's a couple shades darker than your natural skin tone. It's just something to help create a transition for all the other colors that we're going to apply next. And I'm just applying that from outer corner to inner corner. This is going to be a full cut crease today. So you want to try and create a transition for the whole crease area. So bring that color all the way into your inner corner. And I'm taking this shade on my Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. Next is my favorite bit. We're going to dip into my Pride palette from Chi Chi. We're going to start dipping into the colors, which is the look. Like this just... <laughs> It just makes the look. I love the colour so much. So I'm going to take this soft orange shade. And again, using my same fluffy brush from Zueva, I'm going to take this orange shade and apply it through the crease all the way from outer to inner corner. Doesn't matter if it gets on the lid because we are going to cut the crease. So you can be as messy as you want as long as you're not bringing it up too high. Just focusing it here through the crease area. And again, on that same fluffy brush, I'm taking this deep orange shade called Flame Point and applying that in the outer crease area, slowly bringing it towards the inner corner. I'd rather focus this part on the outer corner crease. And we're just deepening up that orange just a little bit to give a bit of depth to this eye look. And then taking some of that light orange shade, I'm just softening that deeper orange. So next it's time to cut our crease. I'm going to again go in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC and a eye concealer brush and just start carving out my full crease. And of course just filling it in as well. Just have a fully neutralized base. Once I've cut my crease, I'm going to go in with the yellow shade in the inner corner. So I'm going to take Butter Cupcake from Sugar Pill and actually mix it a little bit with this light yellow shade from my Chi Chi palette just to soften it up a little bit because it is quite an intense yellow. I'm just going to pack that on the inner third of my eye. So the next shade we're going to take is this like kind of apple green shade and it actually doesn't matter if you have a bit of that yellow left over on your brush because it's going to help transition it into the green. So I'm initially going to place down that apple green shade next to Butter Cupcake and then I'm going to kind of grab the two colours, the yellow and the green, and then mix them together to transition them into one another. Finally I'm going to take this light blue shade from the palette. It's more of a medium blue actually and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner, the outer third of my eyelid. And I'm doing the same thing as the green, so I'm just packing on the shade initially and then I'm going to add a bit of that green and blue together and try and soften that transition so they melt into one another rather than there just being a star harsh line. And I'm just adding a bit of that orange back through the crease. Next I'm going to go in with a black eye coal and place this in my tight line and water line. And for lashes today I'm going to go in with my iconic from the House of Lashes collection. So for the bottom lash line, I'm going to keep it super, super simple. I'm going to take this shimmery blue and mix it with this deeper green shade on a Morphe MB16 chisel shader brush. I'm just going to wiggle that tightly against my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to buff it out with that light green shade we used on our lid. For the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to take my Violet Voss Highlighting Trio and take Moon Gleam from the palette. And to finish off, I'm going in with some bottom lash mascara. So this concludes today's eye makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got a thing or two out of it. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up if you did like this video and subscribe down below to my channel. Make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below so you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. And hit the little bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload next. Otherwise, have an amazing week, guys. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.
拜。